It was now the day before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. He had always loved those in the world who were his own, and he loved them to the very end. Jesus and his disciples were at supper. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, the thought of betraying Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had given him complete power. He knew that he had come from God and was going to God. So he rose from the table, took off his outer garment, and tied a towel round his waist. Then he poured some water into a wash basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter. Are you going to wash my feet, Lord? You do not understand now what I am doing, but you will understand later. Never at any time will you wash my feet. If I do not wash your feet, you will no longer be my disciple. Lord, do not wash only my feet then. Wash my hands and head too. <laughs> Those who have taken a bath are completely clean and do not need to wash themselves, except for their feet. All of you are clean. All except one. Jesus already knew who was going to betray him. That is why he said, all of you except one are clean. After Jesus had washed their feet, he put his outer garment back on and returned to his place at the table. Do you understand what I've just done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and it is right that you should do so because that is what I am. I, your Lord and teacher, have just washed your feet. You then should wash one another's feet. I have set an example for you, so that you will do just what I have done for you. I am telling you the truth. No slaves are greater than their master, and no messengers are greater than the one who sent them. Now that you know this truth, how happy you will be if you put it into practice.